Hey guys, what's up? Um, okay, I don't like to do introductions, you know that as of last video, so they're annoying. Like we've been here long enough where we don't need introductions. Um, I'm gonna be doing like a video just, okay. So if you guys follow me on Insta, I was like on there this morning and um, I explained like, it's just because I have a baby now, like being able to film is like, it's harder. <laughs> I'm trying to find time to like, you know, because I'm watching, anyway. If you follow me on Insta, you would know. I'm not going to go over the whole story again. So today I am going, I have a list of some random shit, but I also want to like share some things that I really like with you guys that I'm actually just like really obsessed with right now. And they're really random. I used to do this, um, like kind of things that I love or whatever. I don't, the thing is for me, for me to share this with you guys is different than like other influencers because I am a gatekeeper. You guys know that. I gatekeep. Yes, I do. I gatekeep because I don't like people ruining the vibe. And I feel like in the past when I've shown things like, it just, you know, it's like, I can't stand like the send me the link culture. I can't stand it. It's like, everything is just so readily available nowadays. Like, fuck you. Like put a little bit of effort into your life. So anyway, um, I'm going to share some things with you guys that I just actually really like. And some of them, like, I don't want to share, but I'm just going to whatever. Okay. I'm, like over it right now. Um, before I get into that, I just kind of want to talk about my house a little bit because I think I told you guys we are done with like the house. Like we're living in the addition, like we're di like, we're living in the, the part that we expanded. Um, and, um, I just like, I want to talk to you guys about it because I have been very uncomfortable in my living situation for many years. Um, like, okay, so you guys remember if you've been with me forever, which a lot of you guys have been, um, Brentwood, I loved that house. Okay, you guys know we loved that house. There was something about it. It was so charming. It was established. Like it was a house that's been there. It was like built in 1953 or something. I mean, it's not like super old, but like it's old. Okay. Anyway. And it was like a little bungalow. There were, there were big trees around. It was just, there was something about that house that was magical. Okay. It was something, and it's not something you can get in like a new build. I'm not a new build person. I know a lot of people don't have the choice or whatever for like, you, like there's only a new build available, or whatever. I'm just saying I am not a new build, build person. I don't like them. There's like no charm in new builds. And, um, it's just, I don't know, not to mention new builds don't have like old overgrown, like trees and things like that. Sorry, that's like the roofers. You're gonna have to deal with it. Okay, anyway, so um, you guys know that I moved from Brentwood. So Brentwood I loved, but I had to get out of LA. LA is just, it's shot, it's disgusting. I'm not living there. And I moved into like a really big house in Newport Beach. You guys remember, right? Okay, it was, that one was beautiful. We loved it. It was like giving mansion, okay? Like it wasn't exactly a mansion, but it was Newport Coast. So it was big, okay? Like it is what it is. And I just had a, I just had like a different vibe there. You guys remember, like we were bougie and we were like doing the most there. And it was like giving nineties glam and I, I loved it. And but there was something wrong. First of all, like I redid basically the entire house. I like tore the thing apart because it was so like dated inside and it was beautiful when I was done with it but there was just like nothing that the house itself there was something wrong with it it was the layout of the house I looked it was like a ship the structure of it was long and the front of it was like at one end and the back was under it wasn't like a long house where you enter from the middle which is beautiful it was a long house that you entered at the end and then it went so it was like when I was sitting in my bedroom, laying in my bed, I felt like I was the captain of a ship, like looking out these windows, it, it drove me nuts. Okay, like there was so many things about that house, like, and no matter how much money I fucking dumped into that house, because it was like big, it was like almost 4,000 square feet. It was so like useless for me. I, it was like one person living there, well then two, but one person living there. It, it just, yeah, there was always something with it. And it was just not, I, I couldn't, like no matter how much, how much, no matter what I did to it, I just didn't love it. I read the entire backyard. You guys know, okay? It was just not me. I am more of an eclectic person. I am more of a small home person. Like, I don't like the big houses. I thought I was, and I wasn't. Not to mention, I didn't like Newport. I don't like it at all. 
and there was no birds there. Like, I don't know what that you guys remember. I love the sound of nature. Like, I just love it. It's very calming to me. It's like in Brentwood, we had like squirrels and like, you know, birds. And it was just so like, I don't know. It was so calming to me. I love that property. Um, and there, um, I love that property. So I've always like missed it. So my, and you guys know I love Spanish style. So anyway, bought this house, but it was like, smaller than I wanted. It was not, it's not it, I just wanted the rooms to be a little bit bigger. So there was like this back area that was not being used at all that we expanded onto. And now it's done. And you guys like, it's, I'm so happy. Like, I don't think I'm going to leave here like for a very long time if I do, you know what I mean? Like who knows, but like, I love it here so much. It's not even totally done. Like I've always wanted an L-shaped house, like a shape, like I've always wanted a, a house where there was a backyard. That's what I wanted to do in Brentwood where you pushed out and then you got a courtyard in the back. So it's like, I get, anyway, I love, it's just so, it's just, you guys, I've been uncomfortable for a long time. Okay, that, so that, let's get into the decor. You guys know I was going for when I moved here, like Hacienda, I was all into like the super vintage -y stuff. Like I lost myself. I like fucking lost myself. You guys remember in Brentwood, I had like really cool shit that like, I'm not gonna give you the link to. And then I like had some vintage stuff. Like I had some new things. I had like really cool new things that like there weren't just like what everyone bought from Target. You know what I mean? I had vintage -y things from like um, thrift stores and like flea markets, but like it all worked. Um, Anyway, I lost myself because when I moved from Brentwood to Newport, I just like got into this huge 90s like mansion with like spiral staircase and crystal and like leopard and like, which I love in 70s and 90s and like all this stuff and like mirrors, which I love mirrors, but do you know what I mean? I lost myself. So I came here and I like, you guys know, I've always loved Spanish. Well, I don't know, you know, I don't know if you know that. I've always loved Spanish homes. My favorite kind of home is Spanish home. So I was like going full throttle, like only antique stuff. And it was getting like to be too old. Like it was just not me. I was like, and I was like starting to get like, like you. So I am, I reconvened, I reconvened. And I actually, thanks to Judy, because Judy is like, she works for me, but she's also like my best friend. And she has a very similar style to me. We're different. But we have a similar style. She doesn't really do vintage, I do. She came over here because I was lost. Like I could not get my brain back to like what I was into my style and my vibe. So I thank God she helped, she came here and helped me. Like I knock some sense into me and I'm able, I'm like coming out of this weird, like I don't know who I am as far as decor anymore and I'm starting to feel myself again. So um, it is like very French country, French, French country, but also like with, putting in pieces of like modern and vintage too. And if it's done right, it's done right. Like if you know how to pick the pieces, come here, then it looks right. Anyway, I'm just really happy. You guys, I just, I don't know this video is just so weird. Okay, it's gonna be, this video is gonna be a lot of like emotional, like up and downs. I feel like I'm just like not, I'm not crying like on here as much. Like I'm not crying on here, stop. Like I just, but I feel like the things I wanna talk about right now are very cry worthy. Um, and I'm just going to get into it. Like I'm just going to, so you guys know that I, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I'm 40 years old. <laughs> I've talked about it a million times, right? I'm 40. And, um, I like, you guys know, I prayed, we don't know. I wish, I so fucking wish that we were this close when I was in Brentwood. So I could be so miserable with you and we could like talk and you guys could like be there and I could, you know what I mean? It's whatever, but it just wasn't like that. Like I hit a lot. Okay. Anyway. So, um, I, you guys know how it worked out, whatever. The fact that like I'm married to Jason is like, is, is a godsend in itself only because I wish like you guys knew, I wish you guys knew me back in Brentwood and how much I wanted things to work out with Jason. Like, so when I do, it's like, I'm just so grateful because he's just s such a nice person and I just really like him, you know what I mean? 
And that's really hard to find. Like, it's really hard to find someone you like that you're attracted to that is an, a nice person. And like, everything just kind of works. Like, you don't really, you don't even fight. Like, there's nothing to fight about. And, and you get him by the skin of your teeth. And, and you have a child by the skin of your teeth. Like, that is God. Okay, that is God. And when I think about the amount of praying and misery I went through. And like, you guys, I probably spent over a year like wanting to be with Jason when I wasn't. Um, I was back with whoever. And the fact that I'm with him and with our, this child, if I would have known that back then, like, oh my God, you know what I mean? Like, I when I, if I ever want to get into like a fight with him about anything, I think about the truth. I think about me back then and how much I wanted to be with him and how miserable I was without him or like that it wasn't, it didn't work and so we weren't together, whatever. It's a long story. I think I told you guys kind of, but anyway, so now I have this baby together who's beautiful and it's just too much for me to even think about. Like it's just too much for me to even think about. And I know God can take it all away from me in a moment, in a split second. You guys know I'm very scared of him. Like something could happen. Like Jason or me, could something could happen to us? Like it's anything could happen, you know what I mean? And I think about it all the time and it really, really scares me because like, I don't know. Anyway, I want you guys to like learn from my mistakes. Anyway, I'm like very, very emotional about my happiness and about my baby and the fact that like I wanted a child for a long time but didn't want it with this person, didn't know how to get out of it, thought if I got out of it, I wouldn't have a chance and then met, okay, I'm sorry, I told you guys this is gonna be like a roller coaster of a video. But anyway, then I'm gonna lead into her, my my baby. And I just don't think that I could ever, like I just don't think that I could ever be mean to this baby like this. I don't think that I could ever not love her. Like, um, no matter what, do you know what I mean? Like, I think that even if she didn't end up being like what I would want her to be, if she ended up being like whoever, like something totally different than what I like, I still would like be there a hundred percent to like support her and love her. Do you know what I mean? Like, good. You know what I mean? I'm not like, this is the thing. I, I want, I'm like, I'm so in love with her and like our family that like, even if she ended up being something that I don't love, I would still, be there a thousand percent for her. If she was going through like a horrible breakup and was very unhappy and sad, I would be right there for her. Do you know what I mean? Like, how could you not? And um, there's just so many things where I think like, I I want to be like, I, if she, I don't know, I just can't imagine being mad at her even. And I can't imagine trying to like impose my will on her like, and try to make her do things she doesn't want to do or like, like things she doesn't like, want to like even if I don't like them. And I'm a very, very strong-willed person. Like you guys know, like what I like is is what is it, it is, you know what I mean? But with her, it's like, no, she's her own person. And you know, who am I to say what she should like and should, what she shouldn't like? I can't force that on someone. And you thinking about, you know, my childhood and my childhood was fine. Like I was very, my, I'm not complaining about my childhood. I'm just saying that I was a very unhappy child and I was very unhappy. I'm like not the happiest person, you guys know that. Uh, and I think it stems from, I don't want to say what it stems from, it stems from like me being like, I don't want to do certain things that like I was forced to do. Like it was like a lot of like, I think it stems from like not wanting to like, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I don't want her to be unhappy. Like I don't want her to think back on her childhood and be like, I was like literally miserable. And there was no reason really for me to, there was, but there was no like actual like reason for me to be miserable. I just was not happy because I didn't, wasn't able to like do what I wanted to do. I feel like, um, and I don't want to do that to her. I want her to, I want her to be happy. Do you, you know what I mean? Like, so if she, like, if she wants to do things that I don't like, I'm going to let her, let her do them because I'm not her. She is her own person. Like, she doesn't like what you like, Alex. It's okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's a human being. She's her own person. Why would I force that on her, like, forever? Why was, I, you know what I mean? Like, I was 
why are you force someone to do something for fucking 20 years that they don't want to do or whatever 18 years like it's just it's, it's insane to me like i don't want to do that like I, i'm not going to do that um because it's very miserable like you know and i think a lot of that reason i was miserable miserable is why i was fat too because i think that like me eating is the only thing that like made me comfortable or happy so I would, like come home and eat because i knew that like in an hour i'd have to go whatever do something i didn't want to do for a long time and i'm not doing that like i'm not doing that it i just not i don't know maybe it's like i don't know so i hope that i just I'm th I, th I sit here and think about this and i want her to i want it to be as easy going as possible like if i see that she doesn't like something we're not going to do that like we're just not like i want her to be happy i know this is probably boring you guys i'm going to get into other things too i just want to like be like i want i don't know like if she likes the color orange and brown she likes the color orange and brown i'm not gonna fucking try to make her light pink you know what i mean it's like i don't know i just like i'm not gonna even though i am like the person that i would typically be like no you know what i mean like i'm not doing that i'm not there's like so many things like i'm not going to impose my will and why like how can you do that you can't do that you can't force someone to be someone they're not okay i'm sorry i just i don't know let's get into some things you guys need to buy this stuff obviously none of it's sponsored at all it's stuff that i bought and i'm never sponsored by anyone okay you guys know that okay so the first thing is this <laughs> it's so good i love like the smell of like tide and bounce and oh my god i love my laundry room i have a laundry room upstairs now and it smells so good when I walk in there, I feel like when I get upset, I'm just going to go in my laundry room. It smells so good. I told you guys I have not had a laundry room in Brentwood. I told you guys that my um, laundry room was outside and I never always try to hide it from you because I knew you'd like murder me for it. Um, and then in Newport, it was a shitty laundry room that was like, whatever, it shouldn't have been shitty. So I finally have like a proper laundry room and it's just like, I don't know, you guys, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so. This is really nice. I just spray it on the bed at night. I think it's for like wrinkles. It's a wrinkle releaser and it eliminates odors and freshness. And, but I don't really like put it on my clothes. I just put it on my sheets and it smells really nice. Um, and if you probably did it the proper way, like and follow the directions, it probably, you're supposed to like spray it, then tug and smooth it with your hands and then like lay it flat. So there's a way to like, but I don't, I just like spray it and I just like it. Like it's just freshening. I love this. I love the scent and I'm not like a big scent person. It has to be just right. So that, um, the next thing I'll talk about is another set is this, and, um, this is for the baby. It's just a, it's like a hairstyler and skin refresher. So I went and bought peonies, um, the other day. I love peonies. They're so pretty. Let me show you mine. Obviously from Trader Joe's. Um, these are the ones I have right now and they, you guys know peonies smell so good. Um, why is this one falling? Peonies smell so good. And so when I was bringing them and the baby into the house, I thought that the baby, I thought they were, the smell was the peonies. And it was, but later on I was like smelling her hair because I had sprayed this on her hair and then brushed her hair. She has like, you guys know she has like a lot of hair. This smells like soapy peonies. It is, this smells so good. You need to get this. I don't know how you can use this on yourself. I, I don't know. Let me know. How can I use this on myself too? I also bought their like my, micellar water. I think it might smell like this too. Hopefully I don't probably, I don't know. It doesn't have the daisy on it. It has like an avocado on it. So it might not smell like that. Um, I don't like, if it's so, then I won't use it. But anyway, so you need to get this. I don't know. How, how can we use this for ourselves? I need to know because it smells so good. Okay. The baby smells like peony, like a soapy peonies. You need to get this. It's so good. Okay. Here it is. All right. Then the next thing, um, is, well, obviously I found my brush. You guys, I am just so obsessed with these brushes. You guys saw my video. This, I don't know. You need to get this brush. This is my brush. It's the best brush ever. You know, a lot of you guys already have it. It was, um, my birthday gift to you guys last year for free. And now they're for sale. Um, you guys know, like I do those 
amazing promos. Okay, let me tell you what I'm wearing too. This is the Darling Silver Dream Tennis Necklace. I love it so much. It looks and feels like real like platinum with diamonds. It's so pretty. You never have to take it off. This is my luxury love or love luxury. I love this piece so much. It's so heavy and thick and this big clasp is like so pretty. It's definitely giving LV, but like in the coolest way, like not like try hard LV like you. Um, I love this. I wear it all the time and I always have it stacked with my everyday rich girl tier. I have it stacked with this all the time. I just love this ball chain with this really pretty stone on it. Um, Crystal, if you guys think this is too chunky for you, I have the rich girl tier, which is the same tier on a really pretty like teardrop sparkle necklace. This one's a little more like edgy every day. Um, I love it. This is um, 17 inches. This is 16 inches. This is 18 inches and this is 22 inches or 20 inches. Um, and this is my bubble, layering bubble heart. I love it. It's like this thick bubble heart and I just like to put it at the end. I think it's really cool. Um, and I'll link my sweatshirt. I also been talking about my grand bracelets. I love these so much. I feel like they look really cool with my Cartier. Like it kind of just like, they kind of hold up next to them. You know what I mean? Like they're really, really cool. I love them. If you're looking for really sick gold chunky bracelets, get these. I love them. Okay. And then earrings. Oh, you can get these. These are the new stocking earrings. They're really pretty. They're a little, I'll link them. A little crystal on the bottom of these like really chubby hoops and they're just really flattering on the ear. So you need those. Okay, that's that. Okay, the next thing I talk about really quick before I share more shit with you guys is something that we're gonna get into a fight about. I'm not really trying to get in a fight with you today, but I'm just here to like be real. And um, you guys know that like I, I do get into politics a lot. You guys probably know that about me, obviously. Um, okay, let's talk about it. So. I'm not a big international politics person. I'm just not big in, in like, what, am I, what is wrong with my hair? Hold on. I'm looking weird. Okay, I'm not into international politics. I'm just not. Like, to me, to be honest, the world is a shithole, okay? I don't want to get into a fight with you. The world is a shithole. Okay, um, see what I mean? You're starting to piss me off. I don't, you guys like that. This is why I feel like we're very lucky to live here because the world is a shithole, okay? Most places are shitholes, okay? And the states are also, turn, is also turning into a shithole, okay? And it's because of mass migration. Yes, it is, okay? It's because people don't assimilate. That's the truth. If I moved to Japan, I wouldn't want to impose my ways on the Japanese. I would move to Japan to become, to like live their way because like I moved to Japan for that reason. Why would I want to go and be American in Japan? Like, okay? Get off of my page. I'm not doing this with you right now. I don't give a fuck if you like agree with me or not. You're stupid and you're dumb. And you're the reason that this place is trying to fucking utter shit. Okay, that's the truth. It's because of mass migration and it's because of, um, what's the word? Ingrates, okay? And it's because of um, people who come here and like don't assimilate and just use the country and then just whatever. I don't give a fuck, okay? That's what it is. It's true. And if you don't agree with me, I don't give a fuck. Okay, do you not get it? I don't care. Like, okay, does it look like I give a two shits about your rat fucking ass? Like, no, I don't. Okay, so that's the truth. Anyway, so I don't care about, about international politics. I just don't. Like, you guys are, like, all pissed at me because I'm not posting shit about, like, what's going on in the Middle East. The Middle East is a is an armpit, okay? Like, it is. I don't give a shit what you say. It is. It's a fucking armpit. It sucks. And I mean, I'm sure there's like nice places and stuff, but like, I don't want to live there and like, give me a fucking break. Okay. So I'm just not getting into it. Like I'm not getting into it. I, I just don't, I do feel a certain way. This is how I feel. This is how I feel. It bothers me. I feel that you should go fuck yourself. Okay. How dare you live here in the States and talk about what's going on in the middle motherfucking East and you don't post an American flag as you sit here comfortable and safe and you have a fucking opinion and then you don't post the American flag on Memorial Day. That's what I think, you fucking asshole. Get the fuck out of my fucking, off my page. Get off of my page with asking me why I haven't posted something about what's going on. Have you posted something as you sit here in the States, you know, you, you know, um, comfortable and safe as fuck and you are, have the audacity to come and ask me why I haven't posted something about what's going on over there. 
fuck off. I'm not kidding. Fuck off. Get off. Get out of here. Don't fucking ask me a stupid question. First of all, who the fuck are you to ask me a question? You rat. You dumb fucking rat. Are you, you have a lot of nerve to come on someone's page who is better than you and ask stupid questions and try to put me in my place. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. I'm going to keep going with this because now I'm pissed off. So it infuriates me so bad, so badly that all of these people who are so lucky, um, fortunate, privileged, okay, um, to live here in the United States, and they do not post the American flag, yet they have an opinion on something that's going on in a different country. You make me fucking laugh and gag, okay? Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? You ingrate fuck, okay? No, I don't care. I, I don't care. I care about where I live. Yes, I do. I care about here. I care about the fact that this place is going to shit because of people like you, okay? Being retarded. That's what, that's honestly what I care about. Don't fucking ask me to post something. I'm posting, I'm posting shit about something international. Like, I don't care. I care about politics here. That's what I care about. You think that you're going to fucking try and like, and what's the word? Pin me in a corner to post something? You think I'm going to, you, you think you can do that to me? Is that what you think? You think you can make me do something? That's funny. That's real fucking funny. Okay. So... I think that. I also think this. This is what I also think. You guys make me chuckle. Yes, you do. You make me chuckle. Okay. Har, har, har. You make me chuckle, you fucking idiots. It's really funny the way all of you guys, so many of you guys are like, all these like pro-choice people, right? I'm not telling you guys I'm not pro-choice. I don't give a shit what you do with yourself or your fucking child. I don't care. You guys know I only care about me. I don't care. If you guys want to do what you want to do, do it. I don't care. I also told you to do go do what you want because I want to take care of your kid anyway. I paid a fucking taxes, okay? Yes, I do. You think I want to fucking have more fucking kids on the goddamn dole? No, I don't. Okay. So that's my opinion on pro-choice. Yes, I am pro-choice now because of you because I don't want to take care of your fucking kids. Anyway, um... It's really funny to me that all of a sudden you care about kids in like, what is it, Gaza or Palestinian children or whatever. You care about them, but you're pro-choice. What? You, do you not see what I've done? Get off of my damn page. You are such a fucking two-faced, lying, dumb fuck. This is just the next thing, isn't it? This is just the next thing. This is like the masks. This is like BLM. This is like, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Now you care about kids. You make me chuckle. You're a fool. Okay, get off of my page with your stupidity. You don't know anything, okay? And if you don't post a fucking American flag, get out of here, you fucking rat. You're just stupid, okay? You're dumb. And that's it. That's how I feel. So don't come on my page and say, why aren't you posting something about what's going on in the Middle East? Um, because I told you why. Did you post a fucking American flag? If you didn't get the fuck out, you're out. Okay, bye. Don't come for me like that. I don't care. The nerve of people who are dumb, okay, and dumb, who are dumb, and I'm who I am better than you, for you to come on my page and ask me a question. Are you stupid? Have you no shame? Get out of here. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is this, and um, I love these so much. They are fattening. Okay, they're not fattening actually. They're not. They're 110 calories in one bar, and I don't believe it. Okay. You guys have to also be careful with something. I'm going to warn you. I am going to warn you that companies lie about calories. They do. Um, I don't know how they get away with it. I don't know if like they're, like the, they're not being checked, but I don't think these are 110 calories. These are probably 150 at least. Probably 170, I would guess. They're not 110. They're just not. They're too good. Okay, you need to get these. They are the Golden Grahams Soft Bake Baked Oat Bars. Okay. <laughs> these are so good. It's disgusting. They are so good. Okay. You need to get these, not the granola bar version or not like the long version. Make sure it's a soft baked oat bar. Okay. Just get them. They are so good. Okay. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this really quick. Um, I should have brought the, I have the best, I love my, pa my packaging. It's so pretty. So with all orders, you guys know you get like the HRA zipper pouches, either like you get the hot pink one or the clear one that's glitter. Um, or you get both depending on what you order. But um, anyway, I didn't bring that down to show you because I got these again and I wanted to show you because I was out of these for a while. These are the vanity boxes and these come with all 14 and 10K orders um, or a smaller one if you order earrings. But these are more for like necklaces or bracelets and they're big. 
so you can see like the size so you don't when you get it you can like leave it on your vanity and like have it's really pretty it's like very vintage and it's just so cute I love it and it has my logo in it which I love so um these are back so if you order 10 or I'm gonna I, I want to try to do like a vintage launch soon um I love doing that and um then you'll get this too but just so you guys know these are back and you know no, you cannot buy them on their own they only come with um 14 and 10k designs okay then I'm gonna talk about this you need this I'm gonna link it I think I did share this in my vlog and um you need it I love it it's the best scent ever um I love it it's so good it's um some kind of a flower mixed with tide or bounce it's so fresh it's literally so clean and I got the small one because I wasn't sure if I liked the big one I'm gonna get the big one or I might just get another one of these because I kind of like how it's small and I can take it with me Plus, I don't like ugly bottles. I don't like bottles. I, I, the only bottle I like, bottles I like, are like the Barreto bottles because they all look, they're just so, when I have all my Barreto bottles out, it's very like giving a department store, which I love. But then when you get like a lot of different kinds of perfumes, it just becomes so ugly and messy. Like it becomes cheap. It looks like Marshalls. So maybe I'll really just get this one again so I can just like tuck it away. Um, Yeah. So I will link this so you need this. See so you know how like, do you see how, Lux, this looks like i just love them you need these they come in silver too get both i'm not kidding get silver and gold so you can switch them out and wear them like this wear the small one then wear the big one it they are so fucking sick they look so expensive they are solid and they're gorgeous and you guys just need them okay you know i don't push you to buy shit you need this you need this these are yes but like these are just sick sick okay get them and if you or get this and this together just okay anyway hold on Okay, a couple more things. I'm gonna say something. Okay, the Korean baby thing. Um, so I posted a, like an, a picture on Insta of the baby the other like, like cup three, two weeks ago and I had this like bow on her. It's like a Velcro bow and it is like a, either it's like a Korean or like just an Asian thing where people wear like these Velcro things on their head, like on their hair to like keep the hair down okay so it is like an asian thing and i just like people are like running with this korean baby thing people keep writing korean baby on, on my page which is fine i just want to clarify that you know i don't know i don't like rumors you guys know i don't i, I don't like like when things are like made up and then it kind of like runs people run with it and they're like what do you mean korean baby like, what do you mean korean baby she's not a korean fucking baby she came out of my goddamn vagina okay as much as I love Asian, you guys know that Asian stuff. Um, I said Korean baby because that's the the barrette thing, the Velcro barrette thing is was is Korean. Okay. Anyway, I just want to clarify that because people are like, I don't know, if people are getting confused. I was getting confused. I was like, what do they mean by this? And I was like, oh, this because I wrote Korean baby vibe. Okay, dumb. But you have to clarify everything because if I don't clarify, people are like, oh my god, she adopted a Korean baby. Like what? I, or that she's half Korean. Like what? Like how? Okay. Just do you see how obnoxious people are? Like, I can't even joke because then you guys are going to take it and be like, I oh, she got a Korean baby. Like, you guys are so boring. Like, you guys are so, you just, you're boring. I can't talk about anyone anymore because you're going to like find them. You know, I can't fucking like, I don't care. And then, and then I look like the mean one when you guys are the mean one. Like, I wasn't talking, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not the mean one. I don't talk to anyone. You guys do this kind of shit and you like spread rumors. So it's like, then I have to clarify it. Anyway. Okay, the last thing is something about white trash. And you guys know I do love to like get into the white trash stuff. Um, I say white trash when it comes to children because I feel like children can can give very white trash. Like white kids like can give very white trash. Even if like you're not white trash, your kids can easily look white trash. It's just like because they're messy and like, I don't know, they can like look white trash, okay? Temporary tattoos on children is disgusting. Like, why do not, like, I know I'm, I am literally the minority in this. I have a, a little tattoo, okay? I'm not a tattoo advocate, I don't care. But I'm not like, I, I don't know. I just, I think they're too permanent. This I'm taking a risk on, you know, having, I just figured, you know, I just love HRH and I created it. So I wanted it and I've always wanted like a tattoo like of HRH. Anyway, so I think I want to get other, more. Like I do want to get more now. I probably want to get like, I would love to get something on my hand, but it's way too obvious. I won't, um, anyway, but I do want to get like probably something about Liliette. I don't know. 
or an L for like Liliet or Locke. It's just something. Or, you know, I do love her middle name, Bijou. Like, I just love her name, Liliet Bijou Locke. Like, how fucking sick is that name? I'm sorry. Like, I, I just, it's, that is a name that like I would hear and I'm like, oh my God, like, how did you think of that? Like, I am very good at things. Like, I really am. I, yes, I can toot my horn. I, I know I look good for my age. I know that I'm skinny after my pregnancy. I know that I'm good at doing vibes. I, I just am, okay? Like, I, I, I am not, the sky is blue. I'm allowed to say shit. People, like, I am, there's something about me. I just do things right. Like, I can just do things right. I don't like any names out there. It, I don't like names. That's why I had to kind of like piecemeal this together. I knew that I liked at names. So I did whatever. I piecemealed it together to come up with this. And I just love the idea. I just love the name. It's a it's a beautiful name. It's like Jean Benet. It just, Liliette Lock. It, it, Liliette. It's just, I mean, Jean Benet is probably better to be honest. I love that name because it's especially because it's like meaning something. It meant like her family or whatever. Um, so it's very, very appropriate and like, unique but i just love liliette bijou lock it's fucking perfect i'm so happy i it's just one of those things like hrh like a lot of people had remember like cupcakes and cashmere like i remember when people were like putting like making up blog names back then it was like macaroons and balloons it was like um sprint cupcakes and uh i don't even know peonies stupid okay tacky you know what i mean like, get a fucking vibe. You have no vibe. HRH has not gone out of style because it's legitimate. It mean it's it's the you guys know, a lot of you guys don't know, you always ask. It is the it is the official abbreviation for his or her royal highness. So any like whatever queen or king have has HRH in front of their name, okay? Okay. So it's just it's very classy, okay? And it has so it, it it's like it there's weight to it. It's, it's not flimsy, okay? A lot of these names out there are flimsy names, okay? And like, especially this new age name bullshit, it's stupid. I just can't, I hate all I hate all these names right here. Liliet Bijou Locke is just something that you can do something with. Like, it's just, it's, it deserves, I don't know, it's heavy and it's, it's, it's just something about it. It's just like, yes, okay, and you get it. Anyway, Liliet will never have a fucking temporary tattoo on her as a child, oh my God. And you guys are not gonna believe, you guys are not gonna agree with me. Like, what's wrong with Alex? Can't they go to a birthday party and put temporary tattoo on? No, no. Okay, no, not as a child, no. We're not gonna put temporary tattoos on. A beautiful child's skin. Like, why the fuck would I do that? Why would I, like, why would I bastardize or ruin or destroy or like, look ugly a little child and put let it, allow it to put temporary tattoos? It's white trash, okay? It's giving white trash, it's giving poor white trash. That's what it does. It's giving out of control child at the fucking, at, at a fucking, I don't even know, golden corral, like putting spaghetti all over the table, like, you know, with fucking booger tubes and temporary tattoos. That's, that's what it is. That's what it is. If you don't agree with me, then you're, then you just don't understand. Okay. Putting temporary tattoos, letting your child have temporary tattoos is, and then when they start to like rub off and they're like half there still, and they don't come off. It looks like you, you didn't give your child a fucking shower. It's just disgusting. How do you not see that? Okay. Like I just, I'm just done with you. Like I'm just done. Like, why am I the only one that sees this? I, it makes, it's just the cringiest thing when you see like kids at a supermarket or whatever. And it's like temporary tattoos on its body or it's on its hands. Like why? Like, ugh. I'm so done with this. Anyway. That's my rant for today. <laughs> um, all right, guys. I, I love you. And um, that's it. Okay, bye.